call. Get to the famous Wembley Stadium. So stay with me. So when this is the entrance to the stadium, so I'm going through the main exit, the main entrance. Going to the tour guide. So come on. Enjoy yourself. Okay. Um, very quick one. So, right, we're just going to wait here for shortly. If you walk yourself through, this is just the old Wembley. Right. And essentially, later on, you're going to be taken around, guided around the new Wembley. We can compare the facts, etc. Over there is the toilet. It's a one and a half hours to two hour tour, so it's best to go before. There will be further opportunities for you to go, but right. it's just best to go now. Great. Over there, if you scan the QR code, it will give you an audio of the tour. That will be in English, and um, which is fine. Those who get their leaflets over there, but none of those are in English, because the tour is in English. Um, if you've got any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Okay guys, so apparently there's two Wembleys, the old and the new one, and we are in the old Wembley currently. So from here, we would be introduced to the new Wembley. I never knew there was two. There was all the new, but then the guy just told us that there's two Wembley, which is the old and the new. So.
Yeah, yeah. Is that what you mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, anyone, anyone else can join Yeah, thanks. Yeah, that's from the yeah. 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 Look right here. I feel like everyone that I was in, I was in nature actually. Yeah. We got to stay with the group. We've got a lot of people. We don't want to lose you guys. Um, there was there was someone who came in last week, um, walked off. We haven't found them since. So just stay, stick with us, and you'll be all right. Uh, the second rule is that um, uh, we're going to be we're going to be going past shirts and selling memorabilia. Just don't don't touch the shirts. Um, that's as simple as that, really. And then the third one, the third rule is. Oh, what is the third rule? <laughs> don't touch the shirts. Oh yeah, don't go pitch side. So we're gonna be we're gonna be going near to the pitch. Um, just make sure you don't walk onto the pitch. If you do walk onto the pitch, you, you put yourself at risk of a lifetime ban. Um, but let's follow me through. We're gonna go to the stadium right now. <laughs> Okay, great. So, does anybody know how many seats there are in Wembley Stadium? 90,000, exactly. It's actually the biggest stadium in the UK. Um, so, we've got 90,000 seats. You might notice they're all coloured red. Does anyone know why they're coloured red, by any chance? Or want to make a guess? Yes. Uh, is it like to resemble yeah, exactly. So the England colours that they wore in the 1966 World Cup final, the only major major trophy that the England men's team have won. So that's why it's red. Um, it's, it's a big stadium. You can see there's 40,000 right at the top, 17,000 on this mid tier, and then 34,000 uh, at the bottom tier. Um, one of the amazing things about um, Wembley is the acoustic. So if I speak really loudly, you can kind of hear a little bit of an echo. If you look round, all the glass panels are at a slight angle, which means that you can even me, just one person, can make a noise. And you can imagine with 90,000 fans in here, it's a raucous atmosphere. Um, yeah, um, you might notice so above, uh, we've got all these these little um, black curvy things. They're not where the cameramen sit, it's actually speakers. Um, they're concert grade speakers, so even when, when uh, artists come here, they can use them, they don't need to bring their own sound system, makes a really good sound. We can also see here, we've got a big, big roof. You can kind of see it over there, the grain bit over there. Um, the, all the, all the, the 90,000 seats can be covered um, by the roof, which is unique. It's actually a world record, um, which, which is great. But the pitch itself isn't covered at all. And that, there's 90,000 people. They're going to have to use the toilet 
Wembley Stadium has 2,618 toilets in the entire facility, which is the most out of any venue in the world. Um, you can also see right now on the, on the pitch there are uh, white, white um, you can see that they're basically giving light. So right now it's dark, but the, they, need, they need, basically need the artificial light, otherwise the grass won't grow the way that they want it to. Uh, and the purple over there is infrared. Um, yeah. So I think we can, um, if you guys want to take any photos, um, now, now's a great opportunity. So feel free to do that and then we can move on to the next stage. in Wembley. The first one was in 1948. You can see right here we've got the flag and this was draped over one of the two twin towers of the old Wembley Stadium. Now normally the flag gets passed on to the next country uh, set to host the Olympics. In 1952 that was Finland. So they came to us and asked us for the flag and as you can see we've still got it because we never gave it to them because we lost it. We, put, we packed it away, put it down in the basement. Um, when they came and asked us for it, we couldn't give it them. Now, of course, we have it here today, and that's because when we destroyed the old stadium, we went through, emptied out the basement, um, went through all the different drawers, and then we found the flag. And it's a bit too late to give it to Finland now. Now, those Olympic Games were nicknamed the Austerity Games because they happened just after World War II, so there wasn't very much money going around. You can see just here we've got the football boots worn by one of the Team GB players. Uh, they also had to bring their own kits and their own packed lunches as well. The, the stadium, it literally provided nothing for them. Now you can see just here as well, we've got the starter pistol for the 100 meter sprint. It's a bit bulkier than they are nowadays and probably wouldn't pass as health and safety <laughs> regulations. Now that was used to start the race, which was won by Fanny Blankers Cohen. Now she was a very famous athlete, a Dutch athlete, and she won four gold. <laughs> where you walk all the way down uh, through the media zones and into the players' block. We'll go outside, pitch side, um, and go and greet all the players and shake their hands before the game. Now down this corridor, we have lots and lots of signed uh, shirts and photos as well. Lots of legends of the game. We have the entire 1966 World Cup winning squad. Uh, we've got legends like Pele, Maradona, Eric Cantona, some more modern day ones like Messi, Ronaldo and Neymar, some England players too, Harry Kane, Rashford, and uh, Denny Ali as well. Ignore that one. <laughs> All right, follow me, everyone. Get out your cameras. See who you can find.
on the come from that door there, it's a secret access, and they come through with their headphones in, not paying attention to anybody. That's because they're trying to stay match ready. On this side, can anyone guess who's going to be here? Media. Anybody? Say that this way? Media. Exactly. So the media is here, but guess what they're not allowed to do? Absolute rule. What are they not allowed to do? Exactly. They're not allowed to ask any questions otherwise they will be fine. That's because they don't want to throw off any of the players. Um, they don't, the players can't be blaming the press for messing up a match. So on the wall there behind you, as you can see, let me give you an example. It's not hard, it's not concrete, it's completely soft. That's because this wall changes um, subject to the event. So for example, next week, the Carabao Cup, uh, you'll have the Caravan Energy Drink there. Nat, uh, Nat and EE will remain because those are business partners of uh, Wembley. So what I want you to do is take photos, pretend that you're the press, have fun, and then we'll be moving on shortly. Is there any questions? Where the players line up before they get onto the pitch. So the media is here, the players are here, so they just relax and then walk onto the pitch. So this is where we are at the moment. And not just anyone is allowed it, it's just the players and media. So I guess I'm lucky to be here. <laughs> Second biggest conference room in Europe. Old track will be in the biggest. So in this one here, we have 196 rooms. That's 196 rooms. 196 seats. And we have five for camera room. So who is it? Who's standing exactly where Travis is at the moment? Give us a wave. Lovely. Um, in the back where that window is, it's actually for interpreting. Interpreter? Interpreter. So we have five interpreters who speak up to 50 different languages. So because we host so much different um, clubs and teams around Europe, we, we, we don't know who we're going to get, right? So, who sits here is the press officer. Next to the press officer, we have the manager. Next to the manager, we have the captain. And then we have man of the match on the end. So, when Maguire comes through scoring a hat trick, that's where he sits. Yeah, <laughs> great. Um, yeah. Um, oh, yeah, that's it, another fact. So, when, when, the, when the England game happened for the women's, for the women's okay. final, um, one of the players were actually like the the all the all the ladies invaded the the press conference and were standing on the table celebrating. Absolutely, it was a crazy moment, right? But yeah, absolutely beautiful moment. So as well, these chairs we actually don't change them; we just clean them. So these are the actual seats that we actually sat in as well. So you get to be in the presence of the legends and the people who have big achievements to get. Plus about 10 million to create and all the best players use it. I'm joking, I'm joking. Yeah, this is the, the old changing room. Um, it's really dedicated to the legends. As you can see, there is the Messi and Ronaldo shirts. Um, it's also got NFL on the left. On the right, can anyone guess, for example, what that blue shirt is? Right, the blue shirt. Know what that was? Are you ready? The clue is that they won the FA Cup in that shirt. No worries, it's the Man United shirt in what year do you know? Uh, no one knows, that's fine. 1968 Champions League. 1968 Champions League. So essentially, yeah, in this corner of here, we've got the Bayern Munich and the Borussia Dortmund shirt. So that was the Champions League final in 2013. In 2011, 
you have the Man United versus Barcelona shirts. So essentially, that was the Champions League final again. That was 3 1 to Barcelona. As an Arsenal fan, that makes you feel good. As an England fan, you know what I mean? Yeah, not team, not team. Yeah. In addition to that, the NFL players use this changing room as well. Now, there's 56 um, NFL players in one team, so they use all changing rooms. Uh, within a football team, as you know, there's um, 11 players on the pitch, so this is actually used for the staff when it comes to them. What you're standing in now is the warm-up zone. So this is where the players essentially come. There could be exercise bikes. It's just a warm-up pre-match. And when it comes to a concert, for example, Adele, One Direction, they come in here to keep composed before a concert. One Direction actually turned this into an arcade room, you know, just to keep their cool. NFL players, because they're so big, they need to keep up the carbohydrates, etc. They turned this into a dining room. Pizza, all the junk food you can think of, they had in this room. So if anyone wants to take pictures or take a look, please feel free. If not, we're going to move to the second changing room. Please don't touch the shirts, but feel free to take a seat. <laughs> feel free to take a seat, get comfortable, take pictures, etc. I'll be speaking to you in one second. As you can see, the shirts are actually all hung up. Yeah, please don't touch, but they... Sorry. The men's ones were the ones where they wore in the World Cup, England versus USA. The women's ones were the Euros final, uh, Germany versus... Um, England. Up here, you can see that there's the green clock. This is normal timing. The red clock is a countdown. So this is what the ref dictates. This is how soon before the players need to go to the tunnel and essentially get ready. It starts at 90 minutes and works their way down. Once it reaches 10 minutes, they all have to get up and leave. No exceptions. This is Southgate's uh, outfit. This is what he wore in, I believe, 2017, was it? You went to all the Oh, he wears it all the time, he doesn't wash it, apparently. <laughs> so yeah, this is Southgate's outfit. That is Grealish's outfit on the on your right, and this is Beth Lee's outfit on the left. Down there, this is the physio. So this is essentially, this is where players get the checkup before a match. Um, if you put a hand in, we'll sort you out. So this is the new changing room. This is for um, home players, players from England, and the other one is for away players. So that's that. It has a shape of a shoe. Yeah, it looks like a shoe. This is the last place they come from. The exit to the pinch. things all around they're actually Wembley Stadium's biggest fans they're always next to the pitch they're always making generating the atmosphere that they actually help fertilize the pitch yeah. if we're comparing you to a 30 inch long standard 30 inch television there are 1064 screens in those so you might want to so it'd be a good good place to play FIFA like a big game of FIFA if you wanted to um, 
Hello everyone, this is the final part of the tour. As you can see, we are on the pitch and it looks so green and beautiful. So if you're a football fan and you find yourself in England, I would advise you to play a visit here because the stadium is massive and pretty. So, are we ready? One, two, three! Hello, Andre! That was quite good, that was quite good. <laughs> I think we can do a little bit better. I think, what do you think? Top of your lungs, please. <laughs> One, two, three! Hello, Andre! That was good. Do this up out of the and that's a demonstration of how you celebrate. Uh, the Wembley Stadium is actually the only stadium in the UK which is 100% sustainable. It used to be 97% but they're fully sustainable now. Um, and these three lines are made of three different recycled materials. So the first one is made out of plastic. If you go a little bit closer you can actually see what, the, what it was made out of. It was made from former um, match programs. Um, the second line is made from steel and the third line is made from cardboard. Um, but you can see a lot of the art around here is also made from recycled materials. Um, so feel free to take some photos and otherwise we'll, we'll yep. continue.